Okay, so thanks for accessing this video. So in this video, I will be discussing to you about Mercury transiting on Libra on October 14, 2020. So we all know that transits keeps happening when planets keep moving across different zodiac signs and all that, right? So as per the Vedic Nadi transits, Mercury is transiting into its friendly sign Libra on October 14, 2020. And the Mercury will be in Libra for 25 days period. Okay, so in this video, I try to capture the information in, in a way, what are the significators during this period? Okay, so most of the zodiac signs will be encountering these attributes from the transit on October 14, 2020. All right, so let's discuss. So first and foremost, your train, your train of thought is streamlined for maximum efficiency. So once the Mercury comes into Libra, first of all, what is Mercury? Mercury is the planet of speech, communication, networking, friend circle, business relationships. And Mercury is considered as planet of business. And uh, Mercury is considered as intellect, the intellectual and logical thinking brain that you have is all from the Mercury planet. And what is Libra? Libra is the seventh zodiac sign. And uh, Libra is all about maintaining relationships, good relationships, can be business relationships or partnerships or any, any relationship for that matter. So Libra is all about beauty, beautification, luxuries, entertainment, relationships. It's all Venus energy. The Lord of Libra is basically Venus and Mercury transiting into Libra. That means Mercury is friendly with the uh, Venus that is Libra, right? So Mercury is very friendly in Libra. So that's why all the positive attributes of Mercury is seen outside in relation to uh, your uh, relationships and all that. So the first and foremost thing is your train of thought is stimulated for maximum efficiency. So as I mentioned to you, Mercury is basically um, intellectual, your intellectual brain and thought process and the kind of speech that you uh, generally do for with your uh, business uh, stakeholders and all that. So your train of thought is streamlined for maximum efficiency. So, and also it makes the person as an excellent communicator. If at all you have a plan of improving your communication skills, improving any logical thinking skills, or if at all you want to increase your oratory skills, this is the right, right period for you to invest in your learning. Okay. It gives the native knowledge of various art forms. The reason being Libra is a, for Libra Zodiac sign, the Lord is basically Venus and Venus is all about arts, luxuries, entertainments and all that. So you will start showing interest onto that. And the person is bent towards creative and artistic pursuits. So you, you try to, your intellectual brain starts moving towards, you know, a little bit of relaxed uh, kind of atmosphere and you will start uh, showing interest on the creative and artistic side as well. Okay. And the people are, people are very soft spoken, polite, with the power to persuade others. So for this point, I need to ex actually examine your Mercury, whether your Mercury is giving you the positive sign, negative sign or a neutral sign. Based on that, the features will change accordingly. So I need to see your individual horoscope to come into the conclusion. What exactly is your Mercury? Is it positive side Mercury or is it a negative side Mercury or a neutral side Mercury? I need to look into it. So it gives an intellectual mind and justice loving behavior. This is the foremost, um, one of the worthiest attribute that can be seen during the Mercury transit to Libra. Okay. So, and also an eye for beauty and are strong driven towards luxury. So till that point of time, you'll be leading a common life, a normal life from uh, 14th October, 2020. And then Mercury gets transiting into Libra. If you do have, if at all you have a positive sign Mercury, in your in your uh, zodiac in your birth chart, then you will start you will start slowly um, inclined towards luxuries, entertainment, celebrations, all that, improving your relationships and all that. So that's it for today, guys. If at all you want to meet, if at all you want me to check your birth chart, you can able to browse my website www.vedicastosats.com, and you can book for the consultation so that I can prepare the report and I can send you across. All right. So if at all you want to know where exactly your Mercury is placed, you need to book for a consultation so that I can able to check your birth chart and let you know what your Mercury is doing it for you. Okay. So astrology, Vedic astrology is really accurate, but uh, it's all about, you need to find the astrologer who can, who can able to do thorough analysis on your birth chart. Okay. 
all right and uh, thanks for watching this video and do mention in the comment section what exactly what is your key learning and please subscribe to my youtube channel because i'll be adding so many videos on day to day basis and i'll be helping you with the knowledge on astrology if you need one on one consultation if at all you need a you need birth chart analysis please book from the website that is shown in the description and uh, so that i can do the consultation for you all right so thank you so much for watching this video and bye for now